Hello and welcome to another live video edition of AGT Time. Cody Patterson here along with... Along with Jay Bach. Getting into the uh, final eight of our uh, uh, Brant Steel experiment. Yeah, we're back. Uh, we took a week off. Uh, I think uh, I needed kind of some time off a little bit. Had a lot of stuff going on at work. You know, we're still in the off season. Life comes up on us. Uh, we do this as a nice, fun hobby, but every now and then we kind of need to take some time off. Yep. Yep, we uh, need to protect our families. Now, if you guys want to start paying us to, uh, you know, put this together, we'll we'll uh, open up some Venmo or something. You can uh, you can get your dollars to us. Maybe we'll be a little more consistent. Yeah, but, a- absolutely. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, now, hopefully, when the season starts here in about five weeks. Oh my gosh, is that all it is? Five weeks. Uh, we'll try to be way more consistent because we know, uh, you know, show show is pretty much every week. So. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to talk about it, or we're gonna get way behind. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. We'll uh, try and keep uh, updated with it. We'll talk about maybe what night of the week works best. If it's still gonna be Thursday nights or or something else. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be making some some good content. Uh, hopefully, something that'll be enjoyable for uh, for all of you guys. I was talking to my son a little bit tonight, and we'll see if it's something that works out. But. Uh, see if we can get uh, like a uh, Ezra's thoughts or or, or a segment <laughs> where he can uh, he can tell you what he thought of the of the episode. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, so we're now in part three of our Brant Steele AGT contestants play Survivor. Right. Uh, so we uh, uh, quick recap. Uh, Cody and I selected uh, three tribes. The first tribe was made up of winners of America's Got Talent who were singers. Second tribe made up of winners of America's Got Talent who were not singers. And the third tribe, you and I hashed out a bunch of names and ultimately decided uh, who was going to end up in that third tribe of non-winners. And we've uh, been going through the Brant Steel website, having it whittled down from uh, the 18 original contestants down to the top eight now. Uh, and we're going to try and knock out the rest of these uh, the rest of these episodes tonight. Yep. So let's take a look at our top eight real quick and uh, kind of see what we got left here. So uh, there we go. So everyone should be seeing that now. Now, for those listening on the audio podcast, just as a reminder, if you want to see the visual, if you want to kind of see what we're looking at, you can jump over to our YouTube channel and watch the video. Uh, I have the website pulled up. Uh, you should be able to see all the pretty little faces of all of our favorite AGT contestants and uh, kind of you know watch the process as we go through the website. Cody, is it uh, easy to share our YouTube channel uh, website? Is it like youtube.com slash I think it is. AGT I think it might be YouTube. Time? Yeah, I think it might be youtube.com slash AGT cast. Uh, let me, I'll have to double check that. But if you just go to YouTube and do a search for AGT time, then uh, it should come up for you. All right. So uh, that's the way to find it. And uh, real quick, we'll do this at the top of the episode just to get it done. You can find us on Twitter at AGT time. At Facebook uh, is uh, AGT cast or agtcast at gmail.com. Yep, and we're each on Twitter as well. That's right, you got it right. Yep, and each of us are on Twitter. I'm on there, at Cody L. Patterson. And I'm on there, at One Man Bander. And uh, yeah, Venmo me enough dollars. We'll make sure that we uh, give you a cast every week. (laughs) And also, uh, I put the the link to the YouTube channel, usually in the show notes for the oh, great. Uh, for the audio podcast. So uh, if you have the audio cast up, or if you just go to our AGT team AGT time site, you can just click on the link. It should take you right to it. Awesome. So, All right. Uh, so yeah, let's so, get to it. Yep. So those watching on the video should now see uh, the Brant Steel website, uh, and here are our top eight. Here's what we have left, and this we've gone through the merge. We're now in the Simon Tribe. Uh, the or Simon Tribe. This, or as I have it labeled here, the Simon Tribe Tribe. Because <laughs> when I set this up, I didn't know that they automatically tack Tribe on to the end. Oh, so yeah, they'll it's do that. the I Simon suppose. Tribe Tribe. So our top eight, uh, Alfredo from Deadly Games. And, just Alfredo. Uh, yep, just Alfredo. Uh, not, yep. Nothing against, uh, and I can't remember her name, but nothing against her. 
but we just wanted Alfredo. And now Alfredo was in danger of going home before we even started this game. Uh, yeah, he was on, on pretty thin ice. Yeah. We did a Twitter poll of, uh, was Alfredo and, um, uh, who, who are the other two? Um, man, there's another duo, but we only had one of them. It was, um, what's from duo transcend duo transcend yep. the, the yep. aerialist act yep. and tape face and tape face. Yep. yep. So, uh, I think it was tape face went home. Is that right? Uh, no, tape no. face stayed. It was the guy from duo, duo transcend. transcend. Yep. Yep. So yep. in our Twitter poll, uh, you know, it was, Hey, who's going to get voted off before we even started. But now Alfredo has made it to the top eight. So it's pretty good. Alfredo has made it to the top eight. He's uh, really uh, exceeding all expectations. Yep. Uh, then we get Bianca Ryan, Grace Vanderwall. Season one winner. Yep. Yep. Uh, Kenichi Abina, Kevin Skinner, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., Piff, and looks like Mr. Piffles is coming along with him, and Steve, the professional regurgitator. Yes. So. so we've got uh, two ladies left, both uh, young singers. Uh, let's see, we've got two male singers left and uh, four non-singing, uh, let's call them variety acts. Yeah, and you know how much we like our variety acts, Jay. Yeah, so we uh, half the uh, half the crew is is non-singing variety acts. So I, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling positive here. I'm feeling really good about this. Yep, yep. So let's uh, let's kind of see what our alliances are doing. All right, so we've got uh, alliance number one made up of uh, the professional regurgitator Stevie Star, Alfredo of Deadly Games. They've got a nine strength alliance. Each of them has a nine strength loyalty. Well, uh, these Stevie's guys are got thick as thieves. Yes, they are. They are tight. Uh, and Stevie Star is exploring another alliance with Piff the Magic Dragon. Uh, he's not sure, you know. Uh, if they're as strong, it's only a five strength alliance, five loyalty for uh, professional regurgitator, four for Piff the Magic Dragon. You know, they might be the, uh, you know, fire breathing uh, alliance uh, <laughs> if they were to give themselves a name. Right? There you go. <laughs> or, uh, you know, the, the things that come out of your mouth that maybe shouldn't alliance. Yeah, this looks like it's a pretty good alliance because, you know, Stevie Star and, and uh, Piff, they're both real specialty variety acts with Piff and his uh, comedy and his magic. And then as you kind of describe Stevie star that really not for sure what this act is, is it, is it a magic act? Is it a comedy act? Is it a, you know, kind of, kind of what is it? So is it a danger? Act? It's a da- yeah. yeah it's, danger. Yeah. It, it really is just one of the weirdest, weirdest things. I cannot quite figure him out. Yeah. It's, it's very unique. Uh, and then to kind of then be, you know, as tight as he is with Alfredo from Daily Games, uh, we know he's not hiding any knives for Alfredo. Uh, it must not be. No, no. Uh, so let's see what else we got down here. All right. Our other alliance, we've got uh, all the singers together. Kevin Skinner, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., Bianca Ryan, and Grace, Grace Vanderwall. Uh, the whole alliance is a four strength. We've got a five, four, three, and five uh, across the board there. So, uh, not a particularly strong alliance, but large. Which you know, you need numbers. You need numbers to make the uh, make the votes happen. Yep. Now, I think this next one here is kind of talking about what the original alliance was back when they were uh, when they were in a group together. Okay. When they were in their original yep. uh, tribe. So we had had a three strength alliance. Three strength loyalty from Alfredo, Piff, and Stevie. There was a. Is that next one? That's a, a existing alliance, not an original alliance. I think it was one of the original alliances. So. Okay. It's a little confusing, uh, kind of how they do this. It, isn't it? it is. It yeah. is. Uh, and I wonder, original host pick tribe, original singer tribe alliance, new host pick tribe alliance. Um, are they kind of just giving us a history here of everything? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a history or a or a current. Okay, I think um, the uh, big thing is these current one is this one up here, up at the very top. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you've got uh, Professor Regurgitator and Alfredo who are very, very tight, but it's only two of them. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's, uh, let's see let's what see our... Let's see if we get any fights our... or getting anything else going on here. Yeah. Let's go to see what the rewards are doing. So what's our challenge here? All right. This is the uh, barrel bridge. Using four barrels and two planks and one piece of rope, the team must transport all four tribe members across three sections from one end of the field to the other. If somebody falls off or if a plank touches the ground, then that team would have to go back to the start of the section they were in. The first team to get all the all the members to the other side of the field wins the reward. So this is a um, a, a game where you have to get everybody from one side of the play field to the other side. I seem to recall it was like uh, maybe 25 yards across uh, using just your four barrels. So you got four people on each group and four barrels, two planks. So it's like move a barrel in front of the other one, lay a plank across it, you know, move people across it, move the barrel up, move the plank, move the people, move the barrel, move the plank, move the people, try and get across. Uh, if I recall when this happened in the actual episode, one of the groups uh, was was falling behind. They decided to like throw the roll the barrels up on their side and like walk walk backwards on them like a like a ball. Oh, okay. Uh, to make the barrels roll forward, and uh, that was also not a winning strategy. But you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> yeah. So they're they're divided into two groups here. Two groups of four. Two groups of four. Yep. Yep. Okay. So uh, it looks like Stevie, Kenichi, Piff, and Bianca win this reward uh an interesting group yeah uh let's see piff and stevie star had a little bit of an alliance going into this uh but that's really it so it's a pretty pretty wide open uh group there maybe they'll be making some some friends along the way here yeah so for winning that they win a sailing trip while eating burgers bacon and pie burgers bacon pie now that sounds like a meal that does sound like a meal I'm for it. Uh, you know, Stevie, he may uh, just save some of that for later. He doesn't have to eat it all now. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> just store that away. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So let's see what the immunity challenge is doing now. All right. That was just a, just the for fun reward challenge. Let's see the immunity okay. challenge. All right. This is called water weight. Do you want to tell us this one? Yeah. So the castaways will each hold onto a rope handle attached to 25% of their body weight. As the challenge continues, the weight will become too much to bear. The rope will unspool and the weight will drop, which will tip a bucket of water. When the water falls on them, they are out of the challenge. The last man and the last woman standing win immunity. All right, so this is all about the grip strength and and uh, the um, apparatus that they're holding is, uh, you know, think like a you know a, a bicycle handle or something, you know, just a, a straight bar across, but maybe about that width. And as uh, as it slips, you know, as the weight of that slips, uh, it's going to cause the uh, the the bucket over their head, you know, some Rube Goldbergian way to to splash on them. So. Uh, it's all about the grip on this one. Okay. So it talks about 25% of their body weight during the time they're on the Island. Do, do people noticeably lose weight? Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely. Uh, and I don't know if they would take, you know, their weight on their way into the challenge or if they go with like their pre season weight, their day one weight. Uh, I would guess that they go with their, uh, pre season weight, honestly. Okay. Do you know about, on average, how much people typically lose? Oh, boy. You know, people have lost a bunch. Um, I want to say, uh, like, clear back in season two or three, Big Tom lost something like 50 pounds. Some some enormous number. Wow. Uh, but, you know, it's it's not uncommon to see, you know, 20 or more. Okay. guess when all you're eating is rice and chicken, then... Yeah, and and you're you're working hard, and you know your exposure to the elements, and just all the things, you know, the the shivering and and all that. It, it takes its toll. There's a lot of calories burnt in a day. Wow. Okay. Well, it looks yeah. like it looks like Alfredo and Grace win immunity. Yeah, Alfredo's... must have gone to the top top male and top female uh, performers. I'm thinking. 
uh, get, uh, get yeah. the immunity? Yep. Yeah, the last man and the last woman standing win immunity. Last man and last woman. Yep. All right. So. Al- Alfredo is killing it. He's killing it. Grace only had to uh, do better than Bianca Ryan. That is true. Now, what if there was only one woman left in the competition? I suppose she would uh, she... not have to work so hard at I it. I guess yeah. that's true. Yeah, good point. That's that's luck. That's why you're here for the, the deep analysis that's... there, Jay. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the tribe is up to. Okay, uh, so since they've combined into the Simon Tribe tribe, nobody... Has yet found the Simon Tribe Idol, but wait! Stevie found it! Our professional regurgitator uh, has the Simon Tribe Idol. Uh, um, and now he can keep it on his person without anybody knowing it. N- nobody's going to have a clue if he doesn't want to <laughs> share it. And then uh, our, our chicken catcher, I'm, uh, his name's is Ke- Kevin me. Skinner. Kevin Skinner, thank you. Uh, says he's rubbing the tribe the wrong way, which is not where you want to be heading into final into this tribal council. Yep. Let's see. I don't so, seem to think that he had a real strong alliance with anybody either at this point. No, I don't think he did. Nope. All right, let's see how the tribal council goes. Okay, Steve has the extra vote. Steve has the Simon tribal. So he is uh, all flush with all these advantages. Okay. So what was this extra vote? Can you refresh me on that? Uh, I don't remember where or how he came up with it, okay. honestly. Uh, but uh, it is an extra vote. So at some point he would be able to, uh, when he's casting his vote, say, you know, I'm also pulling this extra parchment out of my out of my vest and I'm going to cast an extra vote for the person that I write on it. Okay. Um, it's a really hard advantage to play correctly. Um, you know, if you're in a, like, like a final eight here where we're at, if uh, Stevie, you know, if you're not likely to go into this tribal council with a four, four tie, usually you've given yourselves a advantage, like a five, three advantage. Um, if you are in the minority of a 5-3 disadvantage, you cast an extra vote, it's still just a 5-4 disadvantage. If you are in the majority, you don't need to use it. All right? So if you get into an odd uh, odd number of players, your final seven, right? You've got a 4-3 a final seven split, right? You could possibly play it to cause a tie if you're in the minority to make it a 4-4 instead of a 4-3 split but then you're still only causing a tie you're not causing a uh, a victory so you really need to use it with like a you know 3-2-1 split or or something where you are only gaining a plurality instead of a majority is is it's it's a really hard advantage to use is what i'm trying to say <laughs> and, and we've seen what happens when we get ties Yes, yeah, and we learned that early on. If you get a tie uh, and you can't break the tie as a group, uh, the two people that, or I guess whoever was in the tie receiving votes, would then uh, be immune, uh, and everybody else has to draw rocks. That was so brutal. I've never seen anything uh, like that before. (laughs) Uh, Such good TV, though. Yeah, I guess. Right? I guess so. (laughs) Let's see. Let's bring this back in here so everyone can see it. So, right. so Steve has the extra vote. Steve has the extra vote. Steve has the hidden immunity idol. He's feeling pretty good tonight. Uh, and who has immunity? We've got uh, Grace Vanderwall and uh, Alfredo with immunity. Yes. So I'm thinking votes are going to go to Kevin Skinner. He was just who, uh, who was rubbing the tribe the wrong way here a moment ago. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Let's see. Stevie does play the extra vote, and he will vote twice. Now, this isn't a vote doubler. He could choose to vote, you know, one for person A and another one for person B, uh, which, you know, might be the smarter way to play that. I haven't, uh, I I guess I don't have my brain wrapped around sort of the uh, minutia of, uh, of that strategy, but... Um, you know, that would be one way to play it. You don't have to just double the person that you're voting on. You could choose to vote 
you know, for two different people, say you're afraid that one of them might have an idol or something that they're going to play. Okay. Uh, and he does not play the Simon Tribe idol. So he's still going to keep hold of, a hold of his idol, but he's uh, using that extra vote. First vote goes to Kenichi. Second vote goes to Kevin Skinner. Third vote goes to Kenichi. That's two votes Kenichi, one vote Kevin Skinner. Fourth vote, Kenichi. Fifth vote, Kenichi. Sixth vote, Kenichi. Oh, that is going to be enough. He is out of here. Final results are eight votes Kenichi Abino, one vote Kevin Skinner. Uh, so we know who the one vote for Kevin Skinner came from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so we'll, the next page says see how everybody voted, but uh, we, we pretty much know. that out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every voted for everybody voted for Kenichi. Kevin wasn't real sure about, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Professor Regurgitator wasn't real sure about the um, the plan. He wanted to to double down on Kenichi and uh, make sure that he yep. was actually going to be the one that goes home. Yep, so. and he did. Yep. Whew. Well, that was surprising. Boy, we just were, a landslide. Yeah, we thought we were going to see uh, Kevin Skinner go home, but. That's what it sounded like. Have Kenichi go home. That's surprising. We'll see if he's uh, if he's still going to be friendly in the next episode here. Okay, so we're we're coming down to it. We're almost to, to the end here, Jay. All right, final seven. We have still got uh, our two lady singers, Bianca and Grace Vanderwall. We've still got our two gentlemen singers, Kevin Skinner and Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. Uh, and our variety acts are down to Alfredo Piff and Stevie Starr. Let's see how our alliances are stacking up right now. We've got Alfredo and Professor Regurgitator, still a nine strength line, still nine strength to each other. They're ride or dies. They are uh, they are all all in with each other. Uh, just that you know, small percent of you that says you know you're 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 still out for a million bucks, and I'm still out for a million bucks. So we're not you know we're not brothers, but uh, they are definitely in this together. Uh, we've got the existing Piff and Professor Regurgitator with uh, just a five-strength alliance. The Singer Tribe uh, alliance, we've got all four of them with just a four-strength alliance. Uh, our original Host Tribe alliance, uh, just a three loyalty. And then uh, the other alliance of five at just a four-strength loyalty. So... Not much to be said of Alfredo, Bianca, Kevin, Grace, and Landau all together. Uh, but they do have the numbers, and if they vote together, they'll be they'll be just fine. Okay, the so we're still doing reward challenges here. It, you know, after having burgers on a cruise, basically, uh, I'm not sure how much better these rewards can get. Boy, you know what? Sometimes they uh, they knock them out of the park, and sometimes they're they're sort of a sleeper. Um, any reward you get at this point in the game, uh, it's almost a, um, you know, the emotional pick me up. Uh, sometimes it can be just an opportunity to get away with the people that you want to chat with, that you want to have a, uh, uh, sit down with, you know, people that you want in your alliance or people that, uh, aren't in your alliance and, and you, you know, want to try and get them in your alliance. There's all sorts of ways to play the strategy of these rewards. Uh, it's not just about the reward. It is about uh, sort of the social politicking that goes along with it. Yeah, they've been on the island for a month now, so uh, you're right. They have they just, uh, they're, they're wanting to find out where people stand in these last, I guess, few days. Yeah, yeah, we're down to just the last few days. And, uh, you know, every little bit that you can get between... Uh, you know, now and, and day 39 to give you that clarity, to give you an advantage, you want to use it. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's see what people are going to do. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's roll through. The reward challenge. Here we go. We've got reward challenge. Dulcimer stomp. Uh, now, I would think that, uh, you know, your uh, 
variety acts would do well with a dulcimer, right? That's <laughs> true. Or, your uh, finger uh, musicians, <laughs> yep. Your your, uh, your Appalachians. Maybe this sounds like Kevin Skinner's kind of thing here. Uh, teams will begin by unspooling ribbons from a pole to release a key. So it's like a, a maypole in reverse, right? Yep. Once they have the key, they would build a ladder to climb the top and use that key to release a bag of balls. They would then make their way through a net sling to the finish where they would attempt to land those balls in a series of targets. First team to get one ball on each of the five targets wins reward. So pretty classic uh, obstacle course and and some sort of puzzle or uh you know, get things into their place at the end. Yeah, so it looks like it says, it's a uh, three, three and four. I guess a three, three person team and a four person team. Uh, you know, it might have been like a uh, three, three, and if you were the last one picked, you don't get to play. Oh, ouch! Uh, or okay. you know, the, sometimes they'll give that last person. You know, you get to choose what group you want to be with. Okay. And if they win, you get the reward. Uh, they've run it a few different ways, but um, you know, I'm a little surprised they're still doing like. Uh, what we'd call group challenges, yeah. not just individual rewards. Yeah, I figured at this point everything was individual. But, uh, you know, if they do, you know, what Jeff calls the schoolyard pick, uh, you know, there are there's politicking that goes into who are you picking to be on your team. Yeah, fair yeah. enough, yeah. So, uh, it, you know, I may not necessarily need the person who's going to win the challenge, but I need the person that I want to spend some time with uh, while the other people win or while... Well, we win. Yeah. So um, that's that's part of uh, part of what goes into it. But our winners are Kevin Skinner, Grace Vanderwall, and Alfredo from Deadly Games. Man, Alfredo and uh, Grace are just beasts when it comes to competition. These last they cannot they cannot lose. Kevin Skinner was lucky to end up on their team. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, they win a feast and an opportunity to deliver supplies to an orphanage. Oh, that seems nice. So that's kind of a fun thing they do. Yeah, they do like to uh, try and give back to the communities sometimes. Um, uh, they'll they'll bring supplies to hospitals or, in this case, to the orphanage. Uh, you'll see people playing with the uh, with the kids. Uh, it can be really kind of a heartwarming scene. It also gives them a chance to kind of be around other people for, for a little bit. They've been, yeah. around, they've been around the same people for a month now, and this kind of gives them an opportunity not only to help out, but just kind of also be around different people. Yeah, you might see different people. Uh, I, I seem to remember there was uh, one of the characters on this particular season. Wu uh, was, uh, you know, just like doing like karate moves for the kids and like uh, like um, kung fu sort of stuff that they were all getting a kick out of and playing soccer and and just you know like really just friendly. Like you see like a part of their personality come out that you just don't really get to see in the game. Yeah, it sounds like so, it can really kind of lift your spirits for the yep. for the for the stretch here at the end. Yep, a really great reward. Okay, let's see who gets immunity. All right, is that uh, going to lift? Their Are spirits? you kidding me? Oh, more! All right, wow. so this is called backsplash. Each person has to balance on a very small perch while leaning back, holding onto a rope. Every five minutes, they'll move further down the rope, which makes it more difficult. So they're leaning further and further and further back. When they can't hold any longer, they drop into the water and they're out of the challenge. The last person left standing wins immunity. And it's surprise, surprise, Alfredo. This is amazing. He is unstoppable. So he's not going home tonight. Let's yep. see what happens between uh, immunity challenge and our, uh, and our event here. We know that Stevie has the Simon Tribe idol. There's no new idol hidden. Piff and Bianca bond a little, and we're off to Tribal Council. What do you think Piff and Bianca would, would bond over? Uh, well, she's singer and uh, magician, comedian. I don't know how much they would have in common. Um, maybe Now, if Mr. Piffles were around, maybe she... Likes little oh, puppy dogs. Oh, there you go. Maybe uh, it was over Mr. Piffles. Yeah, they would both love him. It's got to be more about Mr. Piffles, because I'm not sure what all they would really have in common. Uh, yeah. They're yeah. they're not from similar seasons. They don't have similar uh, talents. Uh, so I don't know. No, but it's got to be Mr. Piffles. Very different eras, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be Mr. Piffles. All right. So we've got uh, we've got our vote. Stevie has the, the idol. 
Castaways all vote. If uh, anybody wants to play the idol, now would be the time to do it. And Stevie Starr, the professional regurgitator, is feeling pretty thin ice. He's ready to play his tribe idol. So uh, any votes cast for the professional regurgitator will not count. And remember, uh, Alfredo does not have uh, uh, any votes against him either. So first vote goes to professional regurgitator, does not count. Second vote, professional regurgitator does not count. Third vote, does not count. Fourth vote, does not count. He played that idol perfectly. Fifth vote goes to Kevin Skinner. Sixth vote, Kevin Skinner. That is enough. Kevin Skinner, the tribe has spoken. I guess uh, we're at that point now where they don't need chickens anymore, so he's kind no. of he's kind of useless. <laughs> You're not... You're not bringing home the the, the chicken bacon. No, nope, no. Nope. So let's see who voted for who. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, Stevie Starr, he read the group. He knew what he had to do. He uh, he saved his own butt. Uh, what do we got? Alfredo voted for Kevin Skinner. Who else voted for him if we scroll down here? Alfredo, Piff, and Professional Regurgitator all voted for Kevin Skinner. Uh, Landau, Eugene Murphy Jr., Kevin Skinner, uh, let's see, was it, uh, Bianca Ryan, and who else voted for Stevie Starr here? And Grace, Grace Vanderwall. Vanderwall. Yep. So it was all four of those singers all voted for, for Stevie Starr. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's interesting that the singers voted for the Variety Act, and the Variety Acts voted for the singer. Yep, and, uh, he was, he was smart enough, or somebody, you know, played their their hand poorly and he knew to play that idol saved himself and uh now we've got three singers left and three variety acts left going into the next episode so this is the final episode before the finale yep six left six left should we see how she goes down let's see how it goes down let's see uh so we still got uh stevie star and alfredo are still alliance aligned Aligned, Stevie Star and Alfredo. They're they're the the ones that are thick as thieves. Oh, they, yeah. you you're not prying them apart with uh, with a crowbar. Now now his idol's gone. He's it's done, right? Correct. Okay. It's been spent. Okay. Uh, they may rehide that idol or or you know put one out in its place for somebody to find. Uh, but no, it's it's been spent. Uh, Stevie Star is also. Uh, uh, five strength aligned with Piff, and then we've got our three singers together: Bianca, Grace, and Landau. Eugene Murphy Jr. with just a four strength alliance, and uh, they're saying Alfredo, Piff, and Professional Regurgitator just a three three strength alliance. And then there's one more here. We've got the three singers along with Alfredo, the Challenge Beast, with a four strength alliance. So they've got numbers. They've got uh, they're reaching across the aisle a little bit. Uh, the singers are, are mingling with Alfredo and uh, possibly seeing if uh, that looks bad for Piff and, and Stevie Starr. I don't know. Yeah, we're pretty well balanced here with three singers and three variety acts left. Yeah, but somebody's going to gonna defect uh, so we don't have a 3-3 three, three tie again. Nobody wants to go out of the game uh, by drawing rocks. <laughs> That's right. We've seen that. Uh, okay, all so right. Our, I guess is our last reward challenge. Uh, it may be the last one. It's, it's, uh, yeah. So since this is the last week before, uh, the finale. So this would probably be our last reward challenge. Most likely, it's possible that they okay. would have a reward challenge. But oh, okay. Yeah, we'll. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it's most likely. Yeah, they, they they usually buzz through those last few pretty quick in the uh, in the finale. Okay. So this one's called Four Word Progress. The teams would race through a series of obstacles and then untie knots to release a drawbridge. They would then use a hatchet to chop a rope, which would release puzzle pieces. Once they have all the puzzle pieces, they would use them to solve a word puzzle. A reward with all the fixins. That That's the puzzle that they have to figure out. That's the words that they need oh, okay. to spell with their pieces. Okay. First, a reward with all the fixings. First team to get it right wins. So I'm guessing so a is, three, 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 uh, two teams of three. Still a, a three-three uh, reward challenge. Re- 
Ward goes to Bianca Ryan, along with Piff the Magic Dragon. They were getting along a little bit. And the professional regurgitator. Yeah, Alfredo didn't then, win this. Alfredo didn't win this time. He didn't. He didn't win. Good good eye. Yeah. Uh, his first, you know, non-victory in who knows how long. Uh, and it says they went a helicopter tour of Nicaragua and a surf and turf meal with wine. Wow, you're, you're right. These rewards are getting better. Ooh, buddy. So, yeah, uh, helicopter tour, uh, seafood and steak and, uh, and wine. So that's a nice, uh, nice chance for those three to, you know, have some, you know, maybe get their head out of game time if they're getting along that well. Uh, we know that Regurgitator and uh, Piff, Piff and Bianca Ryan, there, there's some, some friendliness going on here. So, you know, maybe it's going to turn into something uh, uh, even better for them as they, as they move forward here. Okay, let's uh, see what... So, yeah, we had Piff and Bianca kind of aligned. So, um, it's interesting that Alfredo and Stevie Starr were not on the same team. No, yeah, and I don't know if they were, you know, just drew teams out of a hat or, or how that went down, but... That's that, yeah. Mm-hmm. To the immunity challenge. Castaways, each using a grappling hook, retrieve three bags. Each bag contains a ball. Once they have the three bags, they would use one of those balls to solve a table maze. The first person to finish wins immunity. Uh, and the winner is not Alfredo. That's Stevie Star. That's Stevie Star. So he's, uh, Stevie's coming on strong here at the yeah, end. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, after that last tribal council, he would have been voted out without his immunity, uh, without his immunity idol that he played. This time he wins immunity, so he's, uh, he's still in it. He's going to the finale. Here we go. Proceed to the tribe events before we vote somebody out. No one's found the uh, re-hidden idol. This round, Stevie and Landau have a minor fight. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Landau. What do you think they're fighting about? Boy, I don't know. Uh, it, it, you know, Landau was saying, "Well, for just a variety act, I don't know how you made it this far." He says, "I'm not a variety act." He says, "Okay, fine. For being a magician, <laughs> you're, you're, I can't believe you made it this far." He says, "I'm not a magician." Well, okay, fine. For being a danger act, he says, I'm not a danger act. That's what it was. Okay. It, he was trying to pigeonhole him, and he wasn't having it. He's a uh, magical danger comedian. <laughs> He's something, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we know that uh, uh, Stevie Star cannot get votes. Everybody else might, though. First vote goes to Grace Vanderwall. Second vote goes to Grace Vanderwall. Third vote goes to... Alfredo. Fourth vote goes to Alfredo. Now, this has been their first chance to vote for him in uh, who knows how many weeks. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm afraid what I'm getting ready to see. I don't... Two, two, Grace and Alfredo. Where are we going here? Fourth vote, or fifth vote goes to Grace Vanderwall. And, oh, no. Sixth vote goes to Alfredo. It's a 3-3 three, uh... three tie. Okay. We're going we're gonna to re-vote. Okay. Right? This is a tie and a revote. The people in the tie will not revote. So we're just going to see four votes here. First vote goes Grace. Second vote goes Alfredo. Third vote goes Alfredo. Fourth vote goes to another tie. Grace. Jay. Another tie. Two votes Alfredo. Two votes Vase Grandwall. That means that Alfredo and Grace and uh, uh, Stevie Star are all. Uh, immune. Wow. They don't have to draw rocks. Who's going to draw rocks? That means it's going to be... Uh, uh, who do we have left here? It'll be... Um, uh, Bianca Ryan. Bianca? Piff? Yep. Landa, Eugene Murphy Jr.? Is it just those That's three? just those it three, is. yep. Oh, boy. All right. Well... We scroll down and see where this goes to. Alright, there's a tie. Therefore, each player will draw a rock. Whoever draws the purple rock will leave the game. Our second 
and Bianca. Oh, Bianca. Wow, Ryan. that's a big turn of events there, Jay. The tribe has spoken. So that's interesting. The very first week we had a tie with rocks. And then the yeah. last week we had a tie with rocks. They didn't learn their lesson no. or, or uh, you know, they were willing to put their necks on the line. They would rather uh, take their chances drawing rocks than, uh, um, <laughs> than break their break their alliance, break their trust. Because, you know, the people that you're voting out are the people that are going to vote for you to get a million dollars. So, you know, there is something to be said for, uh, for courting, uh, courting the jury. Well, do you want to see how everyone voted? Yeah, let's see how it went down. All right. Alfredo for Grace. Bianca, Grace, and Landau all for Alfredo. <clears throat> so it was Alfredo, Piff, and Stevie Starr all voted for Grace. Yep. Makes sense. It was our variety acts versus our singers. That's that's how it uh, how it broke down. That's interesting. That's that's fascinating that's that it did that. Okay, so I think we're in the finale now. We are in the finale episode. We've got our final five. We've got uh, probably a two-hour finale leading up to the uh, reunion episode. Uh, We've got just our two singers left, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., the crooner, and uh, Grace Vanderwall, the uh, cute-as-a-button ukulele player, along with Alfredo the knife thrower, Piff the magic dragon magician, and also the professional regurgitator who professionally regurgitates. (laughs) Uh, let's see how alliances are. We know that Alfredo and Professor Regurgitator have been nothing but best of friends. Uh, thick as thieves, tight as, uh, tight as a knot, I don't know. Uh, we've also got uh, Professor Regurgitator uh, entertaining an alliance with Piff. So those, those three variety acts are uh, just as, as friendly as can be. They're still sticking together. I'd be very surprised to see anything other than uh, Grace or Landau go home first here. And I think that pretty well. Yeah, I don't think those alliances. Yeah. Other than, uh, yeah, we've still got Landau, Eugene Murphy Jr., Grace Vanderwall uh, dabbling with uh, Alfredo as a possible third for their alliance. And if he chose to flip, that could spell bad news for either Stevie Starr or Piff the Magic Dragon. And reward goes to Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. That's all it's going to tell us. Yep, we're not sure why they picked him, but... We don't, we don't know what the uh, challenge was, <laughs> but he'll, he'll happily take it. Piff wins immunity? Immunity challenge goes to Piff... And we are just rolling right through this episode. <laughs> uh, no one's found the idol. No one uh, had it or found it. Grace and Alfredo bond a lot. That's interesting. Because Alfredo's a beast. Yeah. I think I think he might win this thing. Yeah, I'm with you on it. All right, proceed to tribal council here. We've got... Uh, just just our five castaways all vote. There's no immunity or anything to be played. The only uh, thing that we know is that... Uh, P- Piff our... has immunity. Piff has immunity. Yep. First vote goes to Stevie Starr, the professional regurgitator. Second vote goes to Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. Third vote, Stevie Starr. Fourth vote, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. Where's it going to go? Ooh. Fifth vote, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. I was Eugene getting nervous Murphy there. Jr. Three votes Landau, two votes Professional Regurgitator. Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., the tribe, has spoken. So I'm guessing this was just the same broke breakdown that we've been expecting. Variety X, vote for Landau. Grace and Landau, vote for Stevie Starr. Yeah, I was getting nervous for Stevie Starr. Oh, yeah. It, and, you know, Alfredo may have, uh, may have flipped on him, but again, he has to think about who he... Um, is going to have on the jury how he wants to play the end game and uh, and earn those those votes from the people that he's voting out. So uh, it seems like maybe the safe bet is to, to pick off Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. All right, final four. We've still got Alfredo and uh, Stevie Starr. 
We've also got Piff the Magic Dragon and Stevie Star. Going down, we've got Alfredo, Piff, and Stevie Star. And then uh, playing, still, we've got Alfredo and Grace getting along pretty well. So Alfredo's friends with everybody. Professor Regurgitator's friends with everybody. Um, immunity challenge. Alfredo wins immunity, so he's not going home. That leaves the other four uh, in a uh, in, in a toss up spot here. No significant events occur. We're ready to get to another vote. Okay, four folks left: three variety acts and Grace Vanderwall. First vote: <laughs> Stevie Star. Second vote: Grace Vanderwall. Third vote. Stevie Star, fourth vote, Grace Vanderwall. Did we just run into this not too long ago? Two votes, Stevie Star. Two votes, Grace Vanderwall. It's another tie. Another revote. People in the tie will not revote. So I'm guessing the uh, the person who flipped was uh, was Alfredo. Yeah. Yep. See if maybe he could bring one of those other guys along with him. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. You know. Uh, you, you know. Okay. So Big Brother kind of has this uh, situation as well. Is that you know do you do you bring your best friend person with you to the to the end, uh, you know, and sit next to them and have a chance of losing to them, or do you take them out and then they're in the jury in order to get you a vote? So it's a uh, it's one of those big, big choices that you got to make. Right. And if you choose to put them on the jury, are they going to vote with you? Right. Or are, are they going to... Are they going to be bitter? Uh, <laughs> are they going to be bitter? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know, how is the jury, you know, what's what's the what's the feeling among the jury? Are they all bitter? Uh, or is it kind of a, a love tribe? Everybody's getting along and we're having a great time. We're all going to be buddies after this. Uh, it's hard to say how this might go down. Yeah. Yeah. This is where it really gets exciting because you just don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. We've got our, our tie, uh, our revote. First vote goes to Grace. Second vote goes to Stevie Starr. I'm seeing the top of his head. Uh, and it's another tie. Wow. We're going to rocks again. Does this happen a lot? Third. No, it doesn't because nobody wants to lose the game. Nobody wants to lose the uh, uh, the whole thing with just a, a random chance. Okay. So now let's let's stop here for a second. Okay. Uh, who's sitting on immunity? It's Alfredo. Yes. Grace and and uh, um, Stevie Star are both immune because they they stuck in a tie. Yeah. Does that mean that so Piff, Piff the Magic Dragon is the only one who can draw the rock? <laughs> Piff goes home because of this. <sighs> let's see if is that's that the way how it, it goes. Let's, let's see if that's what plays down. out. That's that's what logic is telling me. Because I don't think that Alfredo is uh, is able to be eliminated after winning immunity. Oh, this says a tiebreaker challenge will occur. Okay. So final four may be a little different. Yeah, because forget... it doesn't say that the 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 two of them aren't part of it. Right. Um, and I don't. Oh man, I don't remember the specifics of this. I'm sorry. Uh, I know they recently changed the uh, changed the way that the the final four is played. Um, but, uh, yeah, in this case, because it's a tie, it's just a two, two tie. Um, they are, uh, going to a tiebreaker challenge. I think it's like a, um, I think it's a fire building challenge here. Uh, so Grace and Stevie both have to, have to build a fire and whoever builds their fire, you know, large enough and hot enough to, to burn their rope wins. Okay. Uh, I believe that's how that went down. And uh, Grace Vanderwall out fire builds Stevie Star. Wow. <sighs> Stevie Star, the tribe has spoken. We'll see if Let's see how is. each castaway voted. Yep, there it is. 
Alfredo voted for Stevie. Grace voted for Stevie. Piff voted for Grace. Stevie voted for Grace. Final <clears throat> tribal council. So there it is. Fortunately, that was final four for Piff. He has a chance at this. Um, Grace Vanderwall, she's got friends on the jury. She might uh, have just, you know, there might be enough of the singers hanging out there for her to uh, uh, to make her case, to, to garner the votes she needs. And Alfredo has been nothing but a beast. It's really... Uh, really anybody's game. Who do you think's got this? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with Alfredo. I think he's really been a beast. He's got, you know, Stevie doesn't get better. I think Stevie Starr could really help. Uh, I, I'm guessing they get a chance that the jury get a chance to talk to each other. Yeah. So the jury um, on uh, th- their time out of the game, they go to what they call Ponderosa. Yeah. Where you know they're they're going to spend time together. They're going to talk about who did what and how's everybody feeling, and you know who might vote what ways. I'm sure those conversations happen, yep. no doubt. Yep. Same thing. Uh, and then the jury sits in on all the tribal councils um, uh, as as those happen from the final, you know, whatever it is, ten, eleven, down to the final three here. Then the final three tribal council, they have a forum or an opportunity to ask the uh, last three castaways questions and uh, you know hash out see who's going to vote what way or you know make a make, make your case so alfredo's going to say i've been a challenge beast uh you, you know that i i deserve this uh been been nothing but awesome out here gracie's going to say i've been your friend i've uh you know i'm i'm one of you guys and Piff the Magic Dragon is going to say, but I'm hilarious, and I've brought uh, <laughs> levity to the whole game. And, and, uh, and I've got this cute little puppy with me, too. And, I, and I've been a, a whole lot of fun to be around. Yeah, So yeah. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, what do they call it? Outwit, outplay, outlast? That's right. Uh, you know, um, the out uh, outplay is going to go to Alfredo, right? He's He's been the, the challenge guy. The outwit... Uh, you know, that might be Grace, I don't know, and the outplay or the social side, uh, or the outlast, I guess, would be, uh, maybe Piff, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. You, you can make an argument for anybody going anyway, so, let's, uh, let's see how this puppy ends up. Okay, so, t- talk to me about the reunion show. So, typically, Jeff will, uh, collect the votes. And uh, he will not read them off until the reunion show. Okay. So they'll bring back all uh, eighteen contestants. They're you know put them all up on stage. Uh, you know, you typically hear something from everybody, uh, depending on how uh, you know how packed CBS wants to make it. Sometimes they'll have uh, some really unfortunate uh, things that CBS wants to cram in there. Uh, or, you know, things that take up time. Um, sometimes, uh, lately, anyhow, the, uh, you know, two-hour finale episode sort of starts to take up 15, 20 minutes of the finale episode, so the hour of finale is crunched down from, you know, it's 60 minutes down to just, you know, 40, 45 minutes, and um, you're getting more episode but less reunion. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I guess that's that's kind of how it uh, how it goes down. So, is the reunion episode is it live or is it still a tape thing? It's live. It is yep. live. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sometimes they film it in uh, New York. Sometimes they film it film it in uh, in California. Okay, that's good. Okay, you ready to see our winner? I'm I'm on pins and needles over do you, here. Do you have a prediction? <sighs> uh, man. I, I like Piff the most of all these, so, you know, I would say I hope for Piff the Magic Dragon. I think that Grace has just as good a chance as anybody. She's probably the most um, commercially successful of these three. Uh, but Alfredo, he has played the game better than anybody, so, uh, boy. Yeah, Grace is the uh, actual only AGT winner in this group. <laughs> Yeah, is she is she gonna be a, a double winner? Yeah. Get her second million. Yeah, a multi millionaire. There you go, teenager here. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with Alfredo. I think that uh, these last few weeks with his uh, competitions, 
Uh, he's got Stevie Starr on the jury, which you know they've been best buds for for a while now. I think they've that's been buddies. yep. I think that's going to be a lot of it right there. So here we go. Our winner. Here we go. Our winner of our first uh, Bryant Steele AGT play Survivor is. Hey! Alfredo, 611. Let's see who voted for Grace and who voted for Piff. Otherwise, everybody else voted for Alfredo. So what's the 611? Oh, is the one the... So you have 611. What's that other one? Yeah, so the the eight jurors, yeah. six of them voted for Alfredo, okay. one of them voted for Grace, and one of them voted oh, for yeah. Piff. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Wow. So second place is shared between those two. Wow, Eli Matson completely forgot about him. Eli Matson voted for Alfredo. Sophie Dossi voted for Alfredo. Matt Franco voted for Al Frank for Alfredo. Uh, Kenichi was the guy who voted for Piff. They uh, they must have gotten along well enough. Uh, Kevin Skinner voted for Alfredo. Bianca Ryan was the one who cast a vote yep. for Grace. Girls Not got, a surprise. Girls, girls gotta got to stick together. They were buddies. Yeah. They, you know, it's not just a female thing. They singers. had an alliance there. They were fine. They're singers. Singers. Otherwise, Ch- Landau voted for Alfredo. Child, child, uh, child winner singers. Yes. So they yes. were both ki- uh, kids when they won. Very different eras of the show, yep. but uh, yeah, yep. Landau, Eugene Murphy Jr., and Stevie Starr both voted for Alfredo. So. <clears throat> not a uh, not a big surprise okay. coming down into that uh, into that that final three. So what's his fan vote now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, see who the fan favorite was. Sophie okay. Dossi wins the fan favorite. Uh, sometimes they'll have like a uh, sponsored, um, uh, you know, the the Sprint fan favorite or the Pringles fan favorite. Or, okay. I don't think it's ever been Pringles. Do they win? But, you know, do they win but, money? Um, yeah, sometimes I want to say that's happened. Uh, I didn't remember that being a part of, of this season, but, uh, you know, my, my memories failed me. I haven't watched this actual season for quite a while. That's interesting that Sophie is the fan favorite cause she hasn't been on there in a while and I don't, uh, I don't it's been a few weeks. Yeah. And I don't remember how much of an impact she had when she was on there. So but she's terribly likable. She's very likable. Yes. <laughs> I will agree with that. Uh, the winner was Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. Uh, we can see our placements here. I don't know Alfredo. how much of these stats we won. The winner was Alfredo. Yeah, what did I say? Landau did I Eugene say? Murphy Jr. <laughs> did I really? <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Must be getting late. Uh, <laughs> Alfredo of Deadly Games. Uh, second place is a tie between Grace and Pith Magic Dragon. Fourth place goes to Professional Recurgitator. On down the line, we got Landau, Bianca, Kevin Skinner, Kenichi. Matt Franco, and then Look at Sophie, that. Pur- purple, Eli Bianca Ryan, Purple Rock. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of Purple Rocks. Eli Matson rounded out the jury, and then we had Paul Zerden, Michael Grimm, Shin Lim, Darcy Lynn Farmer, Went Too Soon, Tape Face, Kinetic King, who was our first uh purple rock uh <laughs> recipient the first one to, to lose to that and uh, the very first one out was the very second winner ever terry fader yeah and i said earlier that uh the first week was a purple rock it was actually the second week that was a uh yeah the first week that we talked about yeah it. but uh not one of our ventriloquists made the jury wow wow oh. Uh, we've got a recap. Yeah, it's a little of bit of a summary stuff. here. We yeah, we're not going to go through all this. Get through all that. There might be some interesting stats here about who received how many votes or any uh, details like that. Who rubbed people the most wrong? Alfredo had four total wins. Alfredo had uh, one reward win. Um, and three, total. three, three immunity, three three immunity wins. It's really hard to compete with somebody when they yeah. just suck up all the uh, all the immunity wins. Stevie Star, most tr- strategic. Most strategic goes to Stevie Star, Landau, G- Eugene Murphy Jr., and then Piff the Magic Dragon. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Alfredo didn't need to be strategic, I guess. Yeah. Uh, most votes received goes to Sophie Dossie with 16 total. Uh, we had three people with zero 
votes received. Bianca Ryan, Piff the Magic Dragon, and the Kinetic King. Not one of them received a vote, and not one of them won the game. Yeah, and Bianca Ryan, no. Uh, Kinetic King went home on Purple Rock. Yep. And... Piff the Magic Dragon went home on Purple Rock, and Bianca Ryan went home on Purple Rock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good not job. one of them received a vote. And still went home. Wow, okay. Uh, that's incredible. So that's it. We're done. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations to Alfredo. He found a way to get to a victory, even though he was not the most strategic. He was uh, simply, simply dominant. Yeah, and he came in as basically a wild card. because He was, he in, was absolutely he, a wild he card. He was in a vote to go home before the game even started. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, I was just reminded uh, this last week, I was listening to um, uh, Rob Sesternino's podcast. He had a, a catch-up with, um, oh gosh darn it, his name's escaping me, a winner of one of the past seasons. He was one of these guys who was practically an alternate. He got kind of this last-minute call to come on. Uh, I think he had originally been cast for... Uh, um, the amazing race uh but like his wife wasn't all the way into amazing race so they end up not doing that and they said hey do you want to try the survivor thing and he said all right i'll try it out so he didn't really even know what he was doing but uh you know he was able to kind of play free and loose and and ended up with a pretty decent uh pretty decent cash award at the end of the day so um yeah it's uh uh, you know, sometimes when you don't know the game or, or when you're, you know, playing with nothing to lose, you can play a little more free. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that concludes the Brant Steel. So congratulations, Alfredo, like you said. Do um, you got any other thoughts on uh, the game? Boy, you know what? Uh, I really kind of enjoyed uh, you learning a little bit about Survivor, yeah. being able to uh, dig into my memory banks here. And uh, talk about, uh, you know, how the game works, uh, what you might have learned. Um, hopefully, uh, this might uh, interest you in a, in a little bit of Survivor down the road someday. I don't know. We'll see. The, it's, still, uh, it's still on my DVR. It's, it's still sitting there on the DVR. Uh, Gavin is still in it. Ga- he's oh, still wow. just okay. fine. That's, that's my local, so, local guy here. So He's, uh, he's in it. Um, but hopefully, it was fun for you. Cody, hopefully it was fun for uh, you guys listening to us. Uh, you know, try and try and have a few laughs along the way. Here. Yeah. So we've got about five weeks left until the season premiere. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to be back all five weeks unless we really come up with something to talk about uh, each week. But we might be back a time or two. We might do a little preview before the season starts of maybe things that we've heard or just maybe stuff we want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm open to anything. We'll try and uh, give you some some interesting content, and uh, you know, make this uh, make this useful useful place to be. Yep. So uh, that's all I've got for tonight, Jay. You got anything else? Nope. Let's uh, let's uh, sign out and give it a give it a go. Yep. So just to kind of uh, touch base again, so you can reach out to us, uh, AGT Time on Twitter, AGT Cast on Facebook, AGT Cast at Gmail dot com to uh, email us um i'm on twitter at cody l patterson and i'm on twitter at one man bander would love to see some uh, some input from from you guys was this uh, was this worth our time did you have fun with it did you guess the winner did you are, are you satisfied with with uh your winner of the season uh reach out to us give us yeah. some some feedback yep yeah. also uh you know what uh like comment review <laughs> what do they say? Uh, rate, review, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> iTunes, leave us a review, five stars, we'd love to see that. You know, blah, 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 yeah. all those things yeah, all that those podcasters things. are supposed to say. That's yeah. right, that's right. <laughs> uh, donate, we love donations, that'd be great too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Let's so, make this our full-time gig. Yeah, Cody. so uh, we'll holler back at you all when um, if we come back in the next few weeks. But uh, that's all we've got for right now, so um, I all guess right. we'll go ahead and uh, sign off. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Have a good night. Bye.